the obedience um, champion. There are two awards, one for the most obedient dog and one for the most obedient bitch. And again, the standard is extremely high, as you'll be able to see for yourself now, because both champions are here in the studio today with a veteran mark. And as you can see, both the obedience champions are completely different breeds. This one here, isn't she absolutely gorgeous? She's a German Shepherd, and the other one is a working sheepdog. Mm, and this is the dog. His kennel name is Twist of Shalifar, or Twisty for short. He's four years old and he belongs to Mr. Mike Farrington of Foddingbridge in Hampshire. And this is the bitch and her kennel name is Pajawi Crystal Gale. Thank goodness she's called Cindy for short. She's five years old and she belongs to Mrs. Sylvia Bishop of Brighton. Now, as Karen said, you have to be really good to be an obedience champion at Crufts because the, tough, the competition is extremely tough. To win the titles, Twisty and Cindy had to do seven different things, and they could have scored a possible 300 points. And they can't incur more than 10 penalty points either, otherwise the championship isn't awarded. Isn't she gorgeous? She is lovely, isn't she? She's lovely. Well, in fact, Cindy here only lost three and a half points, and Twisty lost four points, so they did very well indeed. And we thought that you might like to see part of their demonstrations, part of what they had to do at Crufts here in the studio today. So, Sylvia and Michael, come in. Yes, Congratulations well to you done. both. Hello. You Sylvia, <laughs> were you surprised? I mean, did you think that you had any chance at all of winning? With a lot of luck, I was pretty confident that you need the luck on the day. But you've entered before, I mean, you're Oh, yes, this is my 20th time on the floor with the dogs. Yeah, the magic yes. 20. Yeah. Did you think um, Twisty stood a chance, Mike? Well, I always thought he had a very good chance, actually, of winning uh, uh, the Ch Crust Championship. Mm -hmm. And were you very confident? Were you, were you quite nervous as well? Well, I did have a few nerves, yes. <laughs> Shaking at the knees. <laughs> No, mind, you very well. Well, one of the tests that both the dogs and the owners had to go through was both walking to heel at a medium, fast and slow pace, something that I think always looks very impressive. And now uh, Cindy and Twisty, with their owners, are going to demonstrate together that particular exercise. So if you'd like to go over there and get yourselves ready, and we can have a see how they do in the studio. Completely different surroundings, of course, to Crufts, although I suppose Crufts is a bit more nerve-wracking for the dogs because there are just so many people, whereas today there aren't that many. So here they go. Now, what you have to look for here is the, the keen attention of the dogs to the handlers. And the dog should be absolutely tight to the handler's knees and respond instantly to the slightest signals. They have to stay where they are as soon as the owners walk Seriously. away. Note as well the way that the dogs respond to changes of speed and the direction of the handlers. And as I said, you're staying really in close. Stand. And then when told to halt, they have to stand or sit there absolutely still and not move. Concentration is all important on this exercise. Sit close. And this is quite different because usually the owners wouldn't work in pairs like this. You'd be doing it. Each dog would be doing it by themselves. And Cindy and Twisty watching both their owners. Close. Not getting confused at all, doing very well different smells in the studio and lighting and cameras. A lot for them to cope with, but they seem to be really doing well. Slowing the pace down now as a change for the dogs. Staying really in tight. Now speeding up a bit. And both Sylvia and Michael will be given different commands, vocal commands and visual commands that the dogs have learnt in their training. And stopping. And they finished exercise, and that's all over. A nice, friendly part. They did very well there. Was that good? Yeah, great. Yes, excellent. OK, so now let's see Twisty in an exercise that's called Send Away, Drop and Recall. Right. OK, so Twisty's back in action. Cindy can have a rest. You're going this way around. OK. So now Michael takes Twisty over, and Twisty's got to go all the way around those bollards and then stop. You'll see what happens. First of all, Michael gets the concentration of the dog by placing his hands over the dog's eyes and just focusing it. Way! That's very difficult to send the dog away. Down now! Beyond the bollards, and Twisty stops. Michael approaches. And the dog mustn't move. Way! Well, he's changed direction then, that's interesting. Again, staying close as in the previous exercise. Finish exercise, and that was a good one as well. Pleased with that one, Michael? 
Yes, very good. Okay, Cindy's very turn nice. now, and this time it's Cindy demonstrating distant control. Yes. Cindy. So the exercise begins. And this time the owner walks away from the dog. So he walks right away across the studio, quite a distance, really. Sit. And there are six commands in this exercise. Cindy. So we give to Cindy. Sit. Some vocal commands there. Cindy back. Sitting and standing. Cindy down. All the way down this time. Sit. Doesn't she look beautiful? Now Sylvia approaches Cindy. Finish exercise, if we call it. And that's over. Well done. Yes, a nice friendly hug once again. So far, so good. Cindy. Now, this is an amazing exercise. Cindy Twish is going to demonstrate this, and he's going to try and retrieve this egg, hold it in his mouth without breaking it. Will he do it? Let's see. It's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> it's very exciting. Exciting on, egg. Get it? Oh, dear. Awful. That was my attempt at a terrible joke. Right. Watch me then. Now, how will he do on this one? Sit. If he breaks Sit. the egg, watch. Then watch. He's lost watch. the exercise. Places it down. Oh. It's quite difficult oh. to, to pick up for a dog. I mean, sniffs around. Good boy. Do it. Goes to it. Oh, twist. Twisty. Hold. Being the dog, twist is very susceptible to all the different smells. He's picked it up. He's got it in one boy. piece. Yes. Passes it to Michael. Good boy. Hope it's one piece. Twisty. It's over. Round to the side. Finish the exercise. Good boy. Yeah. That's all over. Michael, bring it. Is it in one piece? All in one piece. Let's have a crack. Let's just, just to prove that it's a real egg. Some people don't say, oh, I bet it's a pot egg or a wood egg. No, it's not. It's an, ooh. Hard boiled. <laughs> yep. There you go. It's a real one. Congratulations. Fantastic display from both dogs. Congratulations you. to you Thank both. Thank you very a much. Marvellous show at Crubs. But of course, you don't have to be um, an adult to win any of the championships at Crubs because Junior members of the Kennel Club can take part in a fast and furious race against the clock over an obstacle course. It's called the Agility Contest, and on Saturday, the top junior team competed <coughs> against the top members of the Agility teams, and they did very well indeed, considering that the handlers are aged between 12 and 17.